Hello, my name is Cece. Uh, if you don't know me already, I run the Music Box, which I'm sure if you've watched any of my interviews, you know that, but I realize that I haven't really introduced myself on my channel, so hello. Nice to meet you all and thank you for being here. I am here today for something very special, something that I worked super hard on, and that is the Music Box Magazine, Volume 1. Um, I worked on this for two months, very, very hard, very dedicated, and I'm so, so proud of it. I, I just feel like it's my child. I just couldn't be prouder of how it turned out, and I'm so excited to share it with you, and I just wanted to do a walkthrough and kind of an explanation to some of the articles that are written, some of the pictures, and just all the fun stuff. So I really hope that you have a copy, or if you don't have a copy, I'll have a link below so that you can read it digitally. It should be up on the music box by this time, so I apologize about the lighting. The sun is directly in my eyes, but I didn't know where else to film this, so that's what we're going with. So this is the music box volume one. This picture was taken at the Lumineers concert at Hayden Holmes Amphitheater. Um, yeah, it's pretty cute. My headlines are over here. We've got the Courtney Killed Kurt essay, which is one that I actually wrote for class. And I loved it so much that I wanted to include it in this and include it on my website. And then I have Karen O's microphone, which is the story of how Karen O of the Yeah Yeah Yeahs gave me her microphone at the concert, which was probably the best moment of 2023 for me. And then we have This Is Why, which was Paramore's 2023 release. Essentially, they haven't really been active in five or six years, I believe. So, and it ended up being my favorite album of the year. So I kind of spotlighted that as well. And then we have Wilt, who, if you don't know, if you aren't familiar with the Music Box, they are a band that I've interviewed twice now, and they will come back to my channel each year to kind of do a follow-up interview just to see what their progress has been, how they're doing, and they're awesome people and awesome artists. They're all incredibly talented, and I wanted to spotlight them because I think they really, really deserve the hype that they're getting right now, which is awesome. And then lastly, The Garage Rock the Revival, which is another essay that I wrote for another class, actually the same class that I wrote the Courtney Kill Kerr essay for, right there. Um, so yeah, I'm very proud of all of these things. Those are kind of the major things that I touched on, but there's lots to get from this. I just can't wait, so I'm just gonna jump in. Our first two pages is, this one is your content page, this is your, your table of contents where you're gonna find everything. So I'm gonna hold this up and open another copy over here so that you can see it while I'm reading it. So we've got uh, Meet the Creator, which is this page. There's the Courtney Kilker essay, Karen O's microphone, Paramore's Return to the Surface with This Is Why, Wilt, musical memoirs, reviews, a gallery wall, the garage rock revival essay, charts, and just some notes at the end. So this first page is about me, a little bit about me. Since, again, I feel like I really didn't introduce myself at all before I started all this, I don't really have anything up that you can learn much about me on, so I wanted this page just to be a little intro to why I started the Music Box, why this, why 2023 was so important to me, and then also just some of my favorite things down at the bottom. I feel like my favorite way to learn about people is to learn what their favorites are in music, movies, books, all that, so I have my favorite four albums, movies, songs, and books there, so judge me if you will. So, the next page. The next page is the Courtney Killed Kurt essay. Um, I loved writing this essay. I had so much fun. This is probably one of my favorite articles that I've ever written, period, just because I'm I've been so passionate about it for a long time and having to do it in a school setting, write something about it in a school setting really made me do a lot of deeper research and I really enjoyed that because there's a lot of things that I probably wouldn't have researched so deeply without this although I did know a lot about it beforehand but basically this is kind of a, a shortened version of the essay that I wrote which you can find the full essay on my website um this just kind of touches on the main points of why I think Courtney Love killed Kurt Cobain back in the 90s so very very passionate about that topic <laughs> So the next page is my concerts. I went to 49 concerts in 2023, which is a lot. I couldn't fit that many in one page. So I just did my very favorites, the one I was looking forward to the most. And of course, our headline story here, Karen O's microphone. Again, you can learn all about how Miss Karen O of the Yeah Yeah Yeah's gave me her microphone at the concert. One of the greatest nights of my life. I have the microphone sitting on my desk. Just incredible. So this is it right there. Um, 
we have a little bit about one of my other favorite artists whose name is Johnny. He is just incredible. He kind of makes indie pop music. And I was fortunate enough to go to two of his concerts this year. So super fun. I have been not friends. I wouldn't say friends, but definitely he knew who I was and I know who he was, obviously. So it was just really cool that he was able to know me and we were able to talk after the concerts and stuff. So yeah, there's a little picture of me with him. That was definitely a highlight. We have All Time Low right here, who were one of the many bands that were part of the early 2000s kind of emo post-punk revival. And I got to see them twice this year as well, which was super cool. I saw them once at a county fair, which was surprising. And then another time just at a regular concert on their tour. So that was pretty cool. They were very entertaining. You can learn a little bit about that there. I've got Miss Maggie Lindemann, who was also super fun. I just talked a little bit about her concert. And same thing with Muse and Evanescence up here, and then Weezer, and then the Arctic Monkeys, which was another one of my very favorite concerts of 2023. There's a little steal his look section there at the bottom, because everybody loves the classic Alex Turner rock and roll look. So that one, yeah, I think the Yayas and the Arctic Monkeys were two of my favorite concerts of 2023. And the next page is all album reviews. There was a ton of great music that came out in 2023. And again, I couldn't put them all into two pages. So I just weeded out my very favorites. Number one, Paramore's This Is Why, which they got a whole page because they deserved it. That album is incredible and I don't think I'll ever get sick of it. So there's a little background to some of the songs and why I liked it so much. And then there's a whole other page of smaller ones. We've got a little bit of a longer section for Pierce Avail's The Jaws of Life, because that was another one of my very, very top favorites of the year. Probably my second favorite after This Is Why, so. And then just some other ones in there. I won't go into too much detail, because I would like you to read it for yourself. Next were some of the interviews I did. So here's Wilt's page, if you don't know them. They are a five-piece band from Los Angeles, California. They make a mix of a lot of different genres, I think, but they specialize mainly, mainly in rock music, but they've definitely got something for everyone. They only have five songs out right now, but they are incredible. They're going on tour this year, which if you're interested in that, you can go to my website and form, find more information, or you can follow the Music Box website on Instagram, because I did like a concert radar who's coming to Oregon. So yeah, that's where I'm based out of, by the way, Oregon. This is Wilt, a little bit about them, a little bit from our interview. And then I just have three other artists that I interviewed this year, um, just talking about them and their music. And it was just a great time. And there's also QR codes to playlists that they helped me make. I just had them pick out some of their favorite songs or songs that inspire them as an artist and we put them in a playlist. So those are the interviews. Next up, we've got some reviews, right? Here's our musical memoirs. These are all of the celebrity musician memoirs that I've read in the past year and a half, two years. Um, I do love a good memoir, I will say. So we've got Dave Grohl's, Liz Fair's, Michelle's Honors, all kinds of different stuff in there that you can read a little bit about. I wanted to spotlight one of my other favorite Dave Grohl's side projects, which is Real to Real, the Sound City soundtrack. So just really, really cool stuff and just talked about that a little bit. And then over here, I love this page. It's a lot of text. It's very text heavy, but again, I'm learning, I'm still learning how to format. This is my first time ever making something in print like this. So forgive me if it's kind of wonky, wonkily laid out. I'll do better next year on that, I hope, now that I understand it a little more seeing it in person. But one of my favorite albums of all time is The Last Shadow Puppets, Everything You've Come to Expect. And I just had to go pretty, pretty decently deep in detail on that album just because I love it so much. And I felt like it needed, it just needed the spotlight because I never hear anyone talk about it. So there's that. We've got a little bit on the Beatles' most recent song, Now and Then, which I loved the story behind it. I thought it was really sweet. We have Stop Making Sense, a film review up here, which was the a A24's re-release. They remastered it, redid everything, and re-released this concert film from the Talking Heads that came out in 1985. So, and I hadn't seen it prior to its re-release, so I thought that was pretty cool. And we've got a little bit on all that stuff here. The next page is just a bunch of my very favorite pictures from all the concerts I went to this year. So like I said, I went to a lot of concerts. Couldn't fit everything in here, but these were just some of my highlights. I hope you'll look at the pictures and just kind of enjoy them. A lot of them, a lot of them. <laughs> 
Uh, next up is another essay. This is the Garage Rock Revival essay. This is all about the Strokes, the Yeah Yeah Yeahs, Interpol, the New York New York 2000s post-punk garage rock revival scene, which if you know me at all, I'm very passionate about. I love what the Strokes in particular created, but Interpol and the Yeah Yeah Yeahs just together, they those three bands were forced to be reckoned with. There's a lot of other bands that came up in the same time right next to them but I just wanted to spotlight these three because I feel like they had the most impact. So that's what that's what this is all about. I've got some pictures. You can a little meet the bands. Um, and then our very last pages. So right here I have a yearbook style page. That's my class of 23. All of the artists that meant the most to me this year that really built 2023 for me. So yeah, I had a lot of fun making this page. I love the yearbook style and I kind of want to do this every year in the magazine. And then over here, there's just some notes, some random stuff. We have a little mini word search if you're feeling funky. Uh, a final thank you because all of you that read the music box mean the world to me. The support is just incredible and uh, some of my favorite concert merch from this year. And then some QR codes that you can scan to take you to all of my social medias. YouTube channel, both of my, my personal Instagram and the Music Box Instagram. What else did I have on here? The Spotify and then of course my website. I'll link the Spotify in the description too. Um, I have lots of playlists on there. I'm working on curating more. I just thought it would be fun to have that in there in case you're looking for some new music or want to listen to some songs by the artists that were in this, in this magazine. So and then finally, the back. This is the cover for um, the podcast, which if you don't know, all of my interviews are also in podcast format on Spotify. I'm working on getting them up to other platforms, but right now it's exclusively on Spotify. So yeah, I just wanted to include this graphic because I really love it and I worked hard on it. And that is my logo, the music box. And with every magazine comes a little sticker. So these are super cute. It'll just be in there. And if you want one, but you can't get your hands on this, I'm happy to mail them out somewhere. So if you'd like one, you can send me a message or leave a comment or something and we'll figure it out. So thank you all so much for being interested in the Music Box, for supporting me, for everything that you've done to help make this dream come true. Because it really is. It started as something super small and I didn't really have any intention of expanding it and let alone making a magazine out of it. So the fact that I was able to do something like this just it blows my mind. And I hope that next year it'll be even bigger and even better and I'll be better at formatting because... That was probably my least favorite part about this. I just think there could have been more on each page. But again, I was having a hard time with the fonts and its font sizes and all that. So anyways, I'm working on it. But again, thank you all so much for being here, for supporting me, and for looking into the music box. So I'll see you guys later. I'll see you for my next interview, which lots more to come this year. I'm very excited about it. So thank you.